Do you want to hear some tech news? Oh, no. I mean, yes. Record and stream at 1080p and 60fps with Avermedia's Extreme Cap U3. Nvidia is in hot water again after their latest driver disabled overclocking the 900M series of laptop GPUs. The change, caused by driver 34729, prompted irate users to complain on the GeForce forums. An Nvidia rep responded saying that users who overclock their notebook risk serious damage to their system and the ability to overclock mobile GPUs was a bug, which the latest driver fixes. This didn't phase the angry mob who went so far as to post a change.org petition calling for the overclocker blocker to be reversed. The whole thing is made even more strange by the fact that overclocking the 900M series was even made a selling point of some gaming laptops. Nvidia, I think it's time to take a trip. Refind yourself. Find your spirit animal. I don't like seeing you like this. The first Skylake chips from Intel are apparently coming in the second half of this year. As usual, the first chips from the upcoming architecture will be of the Core M variety meant for tablets and low power notebooks. It will replace the Broadwell Core M chips that launched in the same time frame last year. Besides the usual upgrades like battery life and performance, not a lot of other details have been revealed so far. But that's understandable given that we haven't even gotten to desktop Broadwell chips yet. So good Intel. Take your time. X-ray vision could be a real thing. The journal Nature posted a fascinating article on research that actually uses optical light, rather than potentially harmful X-rays, to see through opaque objects. Normally, light rays scatter as they travel through objects. The process described in the article involves ultrasonic waves to focus those light rays, which are then bounced back through the object using a time-reversing mirror? Is that a thing? To, to form an image on the other side, I don't know. Potential uses for this technology include archaeology, disaster relief, and of course, you pervert. Keys. What? Oh, nothing. It was just the tweet for today. Wow, Jack. I, I'm trying to work. It, it was to get. Uh, no. Uh, no. This week is NCIX's Valentine's sale event, obviously because of Valentine's Day or Treat Yourself Day as it's known by the single people. The Canadian deal is a 480GB Intel 530SSD for $309.99, that's $130 off. And the American deal is an AMD FX 9590 Black Edition for $214.99, that's $115 off. Click here or the links in the description for all this week's deals. If you didn't get the memo, next Tuesday is when we're starting our live stream. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday will still have regular edited net links, but Tuesdays will be our live stream day, which we will be calling the P2P show. We'll be streaming on Twitch and then uploading to YouTube, so click here to follow our Twitch channel and click here to vote on which time we should start the live stream. Also, stop voting for potato. It kind of skews the results. Actually, do what you want. You guys don't listen to us anyways. Oh, all right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Because every time someone clicks subscribe, a child learns to pwn noobs. How do we know that? Science. Do you want to be a snowman? Do you want to hear some tech news? All the way from around the world. <laughs> Just come on in my door and sit down on the floor and hear the news. We used to be best buddies and now we still are. What are we gonna do? <laughs> We're still gonna listen to some tech news. Come on, let's go listen to some tech news. Okay, hi. <laughs>